Um, should I pull up some sad news here? Yeah. Oh. Let's see here. This right here. Speaking of fighting. <laughs> so. As you can see on the screen, the uh, Dragon Ball creator Akira Toriyama passed at 68 years old. This is a very sad day for a lot of anime fans who have followed his work since Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Dragon Ball Super, and even though he doesn't really count it, Dragon Ball GT, you know. Just Dragon Ball content in general. So, um, and he died of what was it again, Will? Uh, he had a hematoma, a subdural hematoma. So, like a brain bleed, basically, kind of deal. Yeah. So. so, yeah. So, uh, how do you guys feel about this? Especially because he, it says he's been dead since the first. I know. Now, yeah. Just now it. It's crazy. Yeah. It's sad. I didn't know he did Dragon Quest 2. I know I'm late to the party. Yeah, because of the, the animation even... style. That's Akira Toriyama all day. Yeah, it makes sense now that I think about it, but I didn't even... Yeah. But I... I don't know. Like Kind of like what we were talking about uh, pre-production. Uh, it's pre-pod. It's like... Daryl called him like the Thomas Jefferson of like Thomas of, like, Jefferson of manga. Yeah, it's like he even he, though he, he just can, had one, but it was like the one. But he has the one if like we're being honest. Like if anybody yeah. the most Western world influence manga probably ever. It correct. opened a lot of it opened the door. So uh yeah, it's and I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, bro. It's, it's it's sad. It's sad. Yeah, and it's like yeah. even pre pod, like it was only one source that I seen that he died, and then all of a sudden now it's just blowing up. Just, I just looked up his name, and it, it just blew up now. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is very. This is a very sad day. Let me see. Yeah, for the anime community for sure. Because, I mean, like I said, Dragon Ball, let. Dragon Ball itself, not even talking right. about Z. Not Z. Dragon yeah, Ball before. itself is like pioneering because, I mean, it had a lot of great, it had a lot of good stories in Dragon Ball. Um, it brought, I'm not going to say it made the anime tournament, but the world tournaments in Dragon Ball had a lot of depth to it. Um, mm-hmm. It, Dragon Ball is a good story of passing the torch for Master Roshi to go to. Uh, initially, Master Roshi is the strongest one on the planet. <laughs> and then the further it goes, when Goku turned into a teenager, that's when Roshi realized, like, nah, Goku's stronger. Potential. We right. gotta protect the Earth. Because King Piccolo, uh, you know, he, like, Destroyed the earth, low key killed everybody. So that story, yeah. then you got the Dragon Ball Z, that's goaded. We already know yeah. about that. GT, I mean, I know it ain't his, but it's part of his legacy too. And then all the Dragon Ball Z movies, like right. Broly, when I was growing up, Broly was like was a that? hidden secret. Like, yep. if you knew who Broly was, you, you was, were like cool. You knew, yeah, you, knew, you were in the inner circle. <laughs> For sure, you know who bro, uh, Broly and Cooler. You know those two. You oh know. shit! Damn. So, yeah, yeah man. man, and it just a. I mean, as time goes, the influence on Dragon Ball just cannot be denied. It's like a yeah. worldwide. And I, and I want to say, uh, I think because of, um, I think because of like the biggest influence from Dragon Ball it's like it influenced a lot of his character designs in different games and uh, series that he's been a part of like uh, this game series called Chrono Trigger um, 
Blue Dragon, definitely. Um, cause I, I seen a um an anime version of Blue Dragon, and I'm like, why does this look like Dragon Ball Z? You know, same with Dragon Quest. I'm like, huh. Uh-huh. I feel like I'm watching Dragon Ball Z because of the character designs and how they make it. But um, yeah, and I would definitely say that uh, Dragon Ball Z, well, the Dragon Ball in general, has definitely affected a lot of black culture because mostly everybody, every, well, every guy in the black culture pretty much have seen Dragon Ball Z at least once or Dragon Ball <laughs> or Dragon Ball Super. Yeah. Part of the part of the upbringing, man. Yeah, it is crazy. Yeah, I don't know. that sucks. Sixty-eight. Sixty-eight. Still, he was young. Still. Sixty-eight. He Damn. was a youngster still. So how you guys? Young. How you guys feel? What do you guys feel is going to happen now that um, he's gone? Like he can't give no input he can't you know have full control over certain things now right Uh, i think it's left in good hands i don't think anything's gonna drastically change i think it's more of the same i think if anything it might be even more now like dragon ball merch movie shows mangas maybe there might be some spin-off mangas coming out now who knows that's true um yeah, I, I think if anything, I mean, history has shown us whenever somebody of an icon legend status pass away, that's when they start pushing out all the <laughs> hidden catalog music. Right. They made like 20 albums. They made fucking <laughs> eight Michael Jackson. What's the word? Posthumous, Posthumous albums. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They do that. So it is what it is. They're going to do that with Dragon Ball for sure. And, you know, that sucks because he really, uh, he was really, uh, I think he was at least top two most important people in the manga community. Yeah. I still really, really had a chokehold on bringing anime to America. Because the first anime I ever seen was uh, this one and G Gundam, Mobile Suit Gundam. Uh, <laughs> I saw the eight. third a little bit, and then once I found Yu Yu Hakusho, mm-hmm. I was like, like that was it. But I would have mm-hmm. never found Yu Yu if it wasn't for Dragon Ball Z. The Dragon yeah. Ball Z was full of hands. Yu Yu yeah. was full of hands, and then I found my personal favorite, Ronin Kenshin. Mm. Once I found that, it was like, oh, I'm so so yeah. ja- like Dragon Ball Z, Toonami, hand in hand, mm-hmm. but really right. Dragon Ball Z. So <laughs> I used to record them bitches on the Akira Tomiyama, you are the fucking goat, as far as I'm concerned. You up there with like Kobe and them, really. As far as my life goes, as far as influence. Yeah. Because I know for me, as far as anime, like Dragon Ball Z was like one of the biggest ones that, you know, I grew up on. Like between Dragon Ball Z, um, before I even knew what anime was, Dragon Ball Z, uh, of course, G Gundam, Sailor Moon, Digimon, Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Um, and just a different variety of stuff that I've seen on Fox Kids or um You used to watch Zoids? <laughs> oh Zoids was fire. Like, shit, Fox, bro. Fox Kids and, and Cartoon Network had the best anime on there, bro. Yeah. The bro. one with uh Bit Cloud, that one was fire. Now, like yeah. Zero. Oh, like okay, yeah, yeah. You say like a uh, zero, that's uh, that's boop. Yep. Uh, Kids WB. I almost forgot. Yeah. Kids WB too. Ah shit, yeah. Because Kids WB had Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Dragon yeah, Ball. Yu-Gi-Oh. Bro. Yu-Gi-Oh got me too. But anyway, uh, rest in peace to Kira Tomiyama. Yeah. Man, that hurt. I ain't gonna lie. It it hurt me a bit. I was like, damn, we getting old. Not for real. Yeah. So. Yeah. 